All right, Shalom. First, I want to start by giving all praise and glory unto Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh, Bashim Kakudash, Brakate Yahweh, Brakate Yahweh, Brakate Yahweh, Brakate Yahweh, Yahweh being the name of the Heavenly Father who the world calls God, Yahweh being the name of His beloved Son who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. That's their true names. And the last one, Kudash, the ancient Hebrew, double honor to the apostles, bishops, and elders of Great Muslim, and blessings and salutations to the Lord's elect. I'm back with another lesson through the spirit and probably how about Shema Shai. And the title I'm going to give this lesson is Keep Going. All right, keep going. Whatever obstacles, you know, you're uh, dealing with right now, whatever challenges you're facing. All right, keep going. Keep believing in how about Shema Shai. Keep trusting in how about Shema Shai. All right, so I want to start with um, Psalms 34 and 17. It says, The righteous cry. And the Lord hear and deliver them out of all their troubles, right? When we're met with challenges, met with obstacles, what do we do? What should be your first um, reaction? It should be going to Yahweh Bashma Shai. It should be prayer, all right? That's one of our main tools in this faith, all right? That's one of our, our main weapons in this faith, you know, to counter the flesh, to counter, you know, whatever thoughts you're having, to counter Satan. All right, we've been blessed with the names of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. All right, so we're to turn to our power, Yahweh by Shema Shai, uh, through prayer, prayer. All right, so it says the righteous cry. All right, and the Lord heareth. All right, when we cry, when we put up our prayers, you got to have faith that the Lord is hearing them and delivereth them out of all their troubles. All right, because that's why we're crying to Yahweh by Shema Shai, you know, pouring out our spirit to the Lord to deliver us. Okay. It says, the Lord is nigh unto them that are of a broken heart and save it such as be of a contrite spirit. All right. And when you're in this truth, you know, you definitely going to have a broken heart and, and be of a contrite spirit. Matter of fact, let me look up the word contrite and add them online. Contrite. All right. Word contrite. All right, uh, contrite, and uh, the etymology, it says broken in spirit by a sense of guilt, conscience stricken, and resolved to not sin again, right? Because we're ashamed of our our, our, uh, our past sins, you know? We, we understand that we were once in the world doing all type of madness, right? It says uh, worn out, literally worn out, ground to pieces. And sometimes you feel like you... <laughs> You've been grounded to pieces, you know, uh, in this truth, you know, all right? uh, dealing with the afflictions, dealing with, um, you know, the different tribulations that you face while being on this path, man. It's not, a, it's not an easy thing. All right. But it does, it does make you of a broken and contrite spirit, which that's what the Lord is pleased with. Let me jump to Psalms 51. All right. Because that, that's who the Lord is dealing with. Here we go. This is um, <clears throat> Psalm 51 and 15. O Lord, open, thy, open thou my lips, and my mouth shall show forth thy praise. For thou desirest not sacrifice, else would I give it. Th thou delightest not in burnt offering. The sacrifices of the Most High are a broken spirit, a broken and contrite heart. O God, thou will not despise. Right? The Lord is pleased with that. Okay? The Lord is pleased with that repentive spirit that we carry. All right, let me see the NLT of this. It says, the sacrifice you desire is a broken spirit. You will not reject a broken and repentant heart, oh God. All right, so we're constantly in that spirit of repentance. You know, constantly asking how about Shema Shai for mercy, you know? And the Lord is pleased with that. I thought of another one. I think it's Isaiah 66. Isaiah 66, uh, 66 and 1. Thus saith the Lord, the heaven is my throne and the earth is my footstool. Where is the house that you build unto me? And where is the place of my rest? For all those things have mine hand made and all those things have been, saith the Lord. But to this man will I look, even to him that is, is, is poor and of a contrite spirit and trembleth at my word. All right, those are the ones the Lord is dealing with. The ones that are poor but rich in faith and of a contrite spirit and trembleth 
at the word of Yahweh by Shemel Shai. All right. So the Lord is, is looking for those uh, type of men. All right. <clears throat> so going back to Psalms 30. Uh, is it seven? 34. Going back to Psalms 34. And uh, 18, it says, The Lord is nigh unto them that are of a broken heart, and saveth such as be of a contrite spirit. All right? Those are the ones the Lord is are nigh to. <laughs> right? And the Lord puts the hell on us, and that that does bring us closer to the Lord, because you constantly cry to Yahweh by Shemal Shai. All right? Your spirit is crying out to Yahweh by Shemal Shai. All right? And then the Lord saves you, delivers you in whatever way. And you praise Yahweh by Shemel Shai. It says, many are the afflictions of the righteous, right? Many are the afflictions of the righteous. All right, not, not a few, many. All right, if you serve me Yahweh by Shemel Shai, you're going to be met with many afflictions, man. Many afflictions, man. And they're going to come in various ways. Okay? But what the scriptures say, constantly endure. In other words, keep going. All right, continue to persevere. Continue to trust the Lord. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivereth him out of them all. All right, and that's the that's the whole you know that's the cycle that we see, the righteous cycle that we see in the scriptures. Man, the Lord is um, like the scriptures say, the Lord knoweth how to deliver the godly. You know, those are the accounts that we read. You know, the Lord constantly delivering uh, 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 our people. You know, the prophets, his, his servants. You know, from uh, afflictions, man. You know, whatever they're being met with at that time. So keep going, all right? And understand that we're, we're all dealing with it. We're all dealing with something. And it can always be worse. It can always be worse. Let's go here. This is um, 1 Corinthians 10 and 13. It says, There have no temptation taken you, but such as is common to man. Right? We're not the first ones to deal with what we're dealing with, all right? You know, we're all dealing with similar afflictions. But the Most High is faithful, who will not suffer you to be tempted above that you are, you are able, okay? The Lord is not going to destroy you uh, with, through the hell. And if, and if the hell does destroy your faith, then you would never uh, of the elect, you know, put it like that, because the scriptures say that nothing shall separate us from the love of Yahweh by Shemal Shai, and I believe it mentions afflictions. All right. That's one of the things that would not separate us. Okay. It says, but the most high is faithful who will not suffer you to be tempted above that you're able. Okay. So the Lord's going to, you know, put things on you that you, that he knows you can handle, which the thing is, we don't know how much we can handle. Sometimes you feel like you're going to fucking lose your mind. All right. But. Um, you know, the Lord knows your limits, all right? But will, with the temptation, also make a way to escape that you may be able to, to, to bear it, all right? That you may be able to endure it. So the Lord is always going to make a way out, you know, of, no matter how hot that, that fire is, you know, he's always going to make a, a, a way for you to endure it. He's always going to provide an exit for you, you know, and that's one of my favorite scriptures. That's one of the scriptures that, that, uh, that really comforts my my spirit because, you know, I know if I'm if I'm going through it, then, you know, for one, it's meant for me, and two, I can handle it, you know, Lord's will, all right. But with the strength, I mean, you know, the scripture said it cast a burden upon the Lord, all right. So something that that might be feel like it's too heavy for us, we, you know, we, we we go to the Lord with it, and the Lord uh, aids us with it, you know. <clears throat> we give it to him. All right. And then the Lord always makes a way. All right. So keep going. Let me get a uh, Sirach 14. This is a uh, Sirach 14 and two. It says, blessed is he whose conscience have not condemned him and who has not fallen from his hope in the Lord. Right. Blessed is he whose conscience have not condemned him. Your conscience begins to condemn you when you're not doing what you're supposed to be doing in the spirit, all right? That's when your conscience begins to condemn you, okay? Blessed is he whose conscience have not condemned him 
and who was not fallen from his hope in the Lord, right? Don't let Satan discourage you. You know, don't let Satan steal your joy of the Lord. You know, don't let Satan put your fire out, man. Cause Satan gonna constantly be there to, to uh, you know, tempt you to go off or, you know, place certain thoughts in your mind that are, uh, 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 that are off, you know, but that's where discernment comes in. You know, you gotta treat your, your thoughts as clouds and just let them, you know, just watch them, you know, go through the sky, man. All right, it's a lot of, a lot of thoughts we can't entertain. So it says, blessed is he whose conscience have not condemned him and who has not fallen from his hope in the Lord. And it's all about, you know, uh, holding fast unto your hope. All right, the scriptures mention um, holding fast, right? Let me see, uh, what can I get with that? Holding fast, hold fast. Let me actually go to... Let me go to Jude. Matter of fact, let me go to Psalms. Psalms 37, I think it is. Because the scriptures do speak of um, a just man falling seven times, but, but get it back up, you know? And that getting back up is what? Through faith, all right? Though you make mistakes or you might fall, you gotta get back up in faith in the mercy of Yahweh by Shemar Shai. Uh... Here we go. And it's the Lord that keeps us up, all right? Psalms 37 and 23. The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord, and he delighteth in his way. Though he fall, he shall not be utterly cast down, for the Lord upholdeth him with his hand. You see, if you're ever elect, the Lord is going to, no matter how um, challenging, you know, uh, a season might be, the Lord is carrying you, man. Okay, the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord, and he delighteth in his way. Though he fall, he should not be utterly cast down, for the Lord upholdeth him with his hand. I have been young, and now am old, yet have I not seen the righteous forsaken, nor his seed baking bread. All right, and these are the words of King David. Okay, so, you know, he gave his account. He's been young, and, and, and he's old. He never seen the righteous forsaken. All right, so the Lord will never forsake his elect, which we hope we are. And you got to have confidence that the Lord called you for salvation, not to destroy you. Okay. So we got to, you know, walk with humility, but you also got to have confidence that you could be of the elect, you know? Um, right. So let me get Psalms 94. <clears throat> because it mentioned uh, the Lord Holding, holding us up with his hand. This is uh, Psalms 94 and 18. When I said, my foot slippeth, thy mercy, O Lord, held me up, right? In the multitude of my thoughts within me, thy comforts delight my soul. All right, so when I, when I said, my soul slippeth, I mean, my foot slippeth, thy mercy, O Lord, held me up. Let's see what the NLT is. I cried out, I am slipping, but your unfailing love, O Lord, supported me. Uh, verse 19, in the multitude of my thoughts within me, thy comforts delight my soul. NLT says, when doubts filled my mind, right? All type of shit filled in your mind, Satan planting shit in your head. When doubts filled my mind, your comfort gave me renewed hope and cheer. All right, and the scriptures say the Lord is the God of all comfort. All right, so the Lord knows how to comfort you individually, man, or comfort us individually, you know, in whatever way it happens, you know. You might be having a, a, a tough day mentally and look up to the sky and, and see uh, see chariots, you know. <laughs> that doesn't happen to me so many times, man, you know. I don't even have to have a bad day. I can just be having a regular day. And boom, you know, the Lord uh, uh, comforts me, you know, through, through, through various ways, man. You got to have a dream that comforts you, you know? Um, all right, let's go to Jude. Let's go to Jude. 
So it's all about keeping your faith in your high best from side. It's all about continuing in the faith. Keep going, no matter what you're dealing with. All right, because we understand we're in a time of suffering right now. All right, so don't act shocked when 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 suffering is knocking at your door. <laughs> this is uh, Jude one, and we can start at twenty. But ye beloved, building up yourselves on your most holy faith, praying in the Holy Spirit, keep yourselves in the love of the Most High, looking for the mercy of our Lord Yahweh Shai unto eternal life. Right, keeping yourselves in the love of the Most High. How do you do that? You can you continue in His Word. He said, if you are um, let me grab it real quick. What was that John 8? You know, I'm not the one to uh, quote script, scripts verbatim, you know. I don't like misquoting them. Here we go. John 8 and 31. Then said Yahweh shot to those Jews which believed on him. If you continue in my word, then are you my disciples indeed. All right, so that's how you um, remain in the love of your how about small side. You got to continue on the work, continue doing the work, continue being a brother, you know, continue being humble, continue to stay in order, all of it, man. All right, so going back, Jude 1 and 21, keep yourselves in the love of the Most High, looking for the mercy of our Lord, your how side, unto eternal life. Jumping down to 24. Now, unto him that is able to keep you from falling, right? Who's able to keep us from falling? Who's keeping us in the truth? You know, it's Yahweh by Shemal Shai that's directing our steps to please him, all right? Now, unto him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of, the, of his glory with exceeding joy to the only wise God, our Savior, be glory and majesty, dominion and power both now and ever, a month. All right, so it's Yahweh by Shema Shai that's keeping us in, in, in the faith, you know, keeping us striving for this truth. Uh, let me end it here. I've already been going 17. All right, so this is uh, 1 Peter 4 and 12. You know, the point is just keep going. You know, keep believing, like that journey song. Don't stop believing, you know, don't stop believing. Okay, this is um, 1 Peter 4 and 12. Beloved, think it not strange concerning the fiery trial, which is to try you as though some strange thing happened unto you, right? Don't be surprised, you know, when, when unfortunate things happen to you, man. All right, that's the, the lot of the prophets. That's the lot of the servants of Yahweh by Shemal Shai. The scriptures speak about the patience of Job. Okay, and we have many accounts that we could examine, you know, the lives of, of the servants of the Lord. It's, 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 uh, it's turbulent. You know, they're placed in a lot of uncomfortable uh, positions, man. You know, you think of King David. You could think of Paul. You know, you could think of Yahweh himself. Okay. It says, beloved, think it not strange concerning the fiery trial, which is to try you. As though some strange thing happened unto you. But rejoice. Matter of fact, let me see the NLT of that. It says, Dear friends, don't be surprised at the fiery trials you're going through as if something strange were happening to you. And we gotta remember that the scripture says the sufferings can't be compared to the glory. Alright, the sufferings cannot be compared to the glory. It says, But rejoice in so much as you are partakers of your house side sufferings that when his glory shall be revealed, you may be glad also with exceeding joy. All right, the scriptures speak about us being joint heirs. And the scriptures say too, if we, if we suffer with him, we shall also reign with him. All right, Second Peter the third, I mean, Second Timothy, the third chapter, the 12th verse. Okay, if we suffer with your house side, all right, all the afflictions that we deal with, carrying our cross daily, like the Lord said, we shall also reign with him, man. All right, we should also reign with him because we got to prove ourselves to Yahweh Shemal Shai. Ultimately, we got to prove our faith to Yahweh Shemal Shai. All right, so keep going, brothers, man. Don't let Satan, uh, you know, uh, get you down. Don't let, don't let, you know, anything distract you. You know, keep your faith in Yahweh Shemal Shai strong. All right, fast, pray, do what you got to do to remain in the spirit, man. 
you know, so Lord's Will is edifying. Just hit a few scriptures randomly. Um, keep going. Keep going. Continue in the faith. Keep trusting you out by smell side. Keep believing you out by smell side. Let no man take that crown. All right. Not even yourself. All right. So Lord's Will is edifying. I want to end it by giving all praise and glory unto you. How about by smell side by smell Till next time. Shalom.